In this video, we will be going over a coin metric site that you must be taking advantage of in this bear market. Hey, if you're watching the video a year from now, say we're in a bull market, guess what? You can still utilize it in a bull market. Before we get into it though, smack the likes, smack the subscribes, and you guys know we are powered by. Alrighty guys, the site coinpix.io. Of course, guys, it is a sponsor of the channel and here is a sponsored review video. We, we, like, we've gone over the site before, but I just wanna go down the nitty gritty. I haven't actually like went down to the, like the basic details because maybe you don't even know how to use a coin metric site. So, so let's just start off with the basics. Of course, guys, you got your top 100 coins by market cap. Where do you see market cap? You see market cap right here. The market cap column right here showing that Bitcoin has around $417 billion market cap. Ethereum, 149, oops. And then a so on, like et cetera, et cetera, going down. Um, they, 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 like they do have an AI price prediction column right here as well. Of course, just like any other metric sites, you got the, the 24 hour volume. It's pretty cool how they have this, uh, like the price changes for 24 hour right here, seven day, and then 30 day for the price changes. So you can easily glance. Okay, what's going on in the last 24 hours? What about the last seven days? You can even click on the 24 hours. You click there, you see, wow, quant is up 12% in the last 24 hours. Let's see, what's up the most in the last 30 days? Look, <laughs> okay, the last 30 days, uh, <laughs> Terra Classic USD is up the most. In interesting, um, that's garbage. Anyways, but like, but you can see Uniswap, like a legit coin out there, 21% in the last uh, 30 days, seven days, you guys can check that out. Um, you can also change it for the mark cap. You see what's the, we just click on mark cap. I guess it just stays th the same. Okay. Nope. It goes for the bottom 100. That That is what I thought was going to happen. Anyways, because it, it had 417, but this is million, not billion. That's why I was confused. Anyways, let's put that back to the regular way. Cool. Cool. You also see this fundamental analysis. We'll get into that a little bit later because th that is something you seriously should be taking advantage of when you're doing your research on like on these coins in the bear market or e even a bull market. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so when you click on a coin, first of all, you want to be signed in. Sign up, make an account. It costs zero dollars and zero cents. You put your email in, da da da, like and, like any make a password, and you sign up. Anyways, we're gonna go over here to Bitcoin. You click on it, pull it pulls up this cool thing, just like on anything else, guys. If you're using any, any, like any competitors, coin market cap, coin get code, like whatever, it does the same thing. It shows the price. We got the market cap volume. Of course, the volume slash market cap, um, circulate and supply, max supply, total supply, all that great stuff. Links to their websites. Um, like for example, you know, the Twitter accounts, websites, white papers, Reddit, all like GitHub, all that great stuff. We've got the price action, um, which we all know about. The, the cool thing about this site though, compared, like compared it to like, let's say the, the number one coin met metric site out there, CoinMarketCap, is that I, this is so simple. Everything's straight to the point. Whenever I'm on, on a competitor, I always have to like search around like, where is, where is this? Like everything is just right here. It's so cool how, because everything, like they all show the all time highs, which you can see right here. Let's get rid, rid of my face for a second. You know, like like this column, it's always so long in other places or I have to search for it. It's always a pain. But you see all time high, bam, it's right there. 24 hour price range, bam, it is right there. We got the trading volume, market dominance, guys. Bitcoin down, it's 42%. I think it's gonna start climbing soon. But hey, that's not what this, like, this video is about. Anyways, it's all straight to the point. Get in there. Um, I, I really personally like that. You go up here to the view full um, coin page. And go here of course now this is like this is where you can get into the nitty-gritty good stuff here of course just like any other sites we got markets where, where can you buy the coin i know a lot of s coins out there they're on some s exchanges you probably want to own your keys but that's also not what this video is about um so look i mean you, you see where to buy it which is just like like anywhere else but the cool thing is guys the part that i think is um makes this site really stand out from the fact that it just it's very simple to use it kind of reminds me of like a uh, tesla very, very like very simple there's not many buttons it's just is it's just all right there simple nice uh just easy to use so we go to fundamental analysis so what is this guy so fundamental analysis of course is when you're doing your research you're hitting up the white paper hitting up the team actually i uh, i mean they do a great job of explaining it right here so you have they, they have a seven um, categories to rate a coin, as you guys can see, overall grade, tokenomics, security, marketing, team, product, and competition. So whatever your favorite coin is out there, um, Alex L like Lorenzo, he's the creator of CoinPix.io, or he's the CEO of it. Um, he paid somebody to sit down and do the fundamental analysis for a lot of coins. Of course, number 1,569, that coin has not been done for fundamental analysis. Why? Because it's just impossible to pay somebody to do all these S coins. So keep, keep in mind, it, it, like if you're looking at a coin that's like far down the list, you know, rank number 1,420, guess what? 
it's probably not done. But you you could do it yourself by looking at this, say, hey, like, so what did they point out on something else? And you can do the same thing with your own research on all those good S coins. Anyways, so tokenomics, which I think is something, you know, it's very, it's fascinating. People really just skip tokenomics. They just like, I don't care what the tokenomics, I don't care what the vesting period is for all these altcoins out there. I just don't care. But, uh, and then they get dumped on because at, at like every month, 5% of the supply is being dumped on them from, uh, you know, private investors. Very interesting. Anyways, I think looking at every sing single category here is very important. But for some reason, I'm just a big fan of tokenomics. I've always been. Scrolling down, you know, security. Obviously, guys, you don't want us like like some kind of blockchain that's uh, not like not secure. You don't want them to be hacked. You don't want your coins so you have it on the actual blockchain or you go, go like going through a bridge, and like and that's hacked. That right there uh, sucks a lot. Uh, marketing. It doesn't matter how good anything is, guys. Marketing. It, it just needs to happen, guys. Look at Hex. Look at Pulse Chain. Pulse X. Richard Hart does a very good job at marketing. Um, yeah. So I mean, obviously, Bitcoin has brand name recognition. Um, they did done everything in the beginning to make it do like very well. And well, I mean, it just continued ten years to go on team notes, of course, looking at the team, see what I mean, see if there's LinkedIn profiles, see what have they done before. I mean, you see a, a, a lot of the creators of Ethereum, they're now creating their own thing, guys, you know, Cardano, Polkadot, etc. Um, product notes are just going over product notes, like, like what it is, da, da, da. Um, I would definitely read, like read through these things and go from there. Competition notes and, uh, that right there is it. I, I think this is the most valuable part of this website, in my personal opinion, um, because I don't know of any other coin metric site that has this. If you know one, please let me know down below. Let me know. Anyways, going back to the homepage here. Um, just want to point out at, like at the top, because I, I never really did like how to use like, you know, the basics of a uh, like coin picks. So market cap, when it says market cap here at the top, this is the overall market cap of crypto. So right now there's less than a trillion dollars in crypto. There is a $989 billion in crypto. And it's pretty cool how it does show that it is down about 0.66%. We also have the 24 hour volume of, I guess the whole crypto space as well. 220, what is that? A billion dollars right there. And then of course that's down 13% right now. Um, dominance, you know, Bitcoin is around 39%. Ethereum is around 21%. Um, it's pretty cool to see what the top alts have as well, uh, like just like not just Bitcoin. And then ETH gas fees, because we're all very curious about them. It's around 17 um, way, which, of course, fast right now. Wow. Gas is pretty cheap, guys. So, uh, yeah, I would say probably use a uh, Uniswap or whatever your heart desires on Ethereum if you're into that. But something else that I think really makes this site apart from anything else, they don't take any ads from any other like coins, no altcoins, no just regular ads. There's no ads on this website. Lo like Lorenzo's not making fr from the, like the last time I talked to him, he's not making money from this website. He has a private group called Fundamental Secrets. If you guys want to hit that up, there is a link down below to join, um, sign up and get a, con a, a, con a consultation with his, uh, one, like one of his guys. Um, but guys, they, like, they're, like they're not here shilling coins. You go to CoinMarketCap, you go to all these other competitor sites. They always have rank number four hundred and sixty-two thousand out there, and they're trying to shill that to you. Basically, so, so, like somebody paid to get that coin on there, so now they can shill it and uh, make some bucks. Basically, making you exit liquidity. And uh, I'm not sure if you guys are aware. You probably don't want to be exit liquidity because if you're exit liquidity, you're getting dumped on. So I have a lot of I have a lot of respect for this, guys. Personally, I use CoinMarketCap since I got into crypto, which was in 2017, and it was kind of weird to switch over, but guess what? I, it's pretty cool. I changed all, all my buttons. It's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, just like, it's just fascinating. Like, as a, a small crypto YouTuber, I can see with the emails, I get shilled at least coins all the time, and it's also very fascinating to see some of those coins I get shilled, like, I get the email, and then I also see some other say influencers here that have several hundred K um, they're pumping these coins out. And I'm just like, interesting, especially like right now in the bear market. It's just fascinating how um, it just going to, it's going to create you to be exit liquidity. And basically I, I just want to say that they're not doing that here. I think it's pretty cool. He's making his money from his private group, which is helping people. So yeah, that's where the money's being made. It's, it's not actually going to be the end user and you can take advantage of this without even signing up. But of course, I mean, if you want to get into that, definitely sign up and see, like, see what it's all about. And something else that is awesome is uh, Hex, guys. So you you love or hate Hex, guys. I don't care if you love or hate it. I'm I'm kind of neutral. Uh, like when like whenever I see Richard Hart talk, he makes me like he does make me want to buy Hex, and uh, I really want to figure out like what that is because he's really good at that. Anyways, the point being though is that they're not censoring coins. You know, you go to CoinMarketCap or any other like competitor site. Hex is you know ranked number two hundred or four hundred or whatever. But the market cap of Hex, last time I checked, is five billion dollars. 
five with a B. And right here, it's ranked 18, where it should be, in my humble opinion. But they like to censor coins, not just hex. There's many other coins that they censor as well. So the fact is, they're also not censoring coins here as well. So I think that's pretty dope, in my personal opinion. You have to respect the fact that they're not going to be taking paid ads from these altcoins, pushing them up a little bit, making them look better, basically getting them out to the eye, like a people. Uh, basically just shill them and make you guys exit liquidity. Um, so yeah, guys, that right there is that. So what is your thoughts? Have you guys already checked out CoinPix or is this the first time you guys are hearing about it? Let me know down below. Uh, I, I seriously, seriously, seriously recommend, like, let's just say, for example, you want to go pick up some Tezos, but you want to look at some fundamental analysis. All you have to do is sign up, log in, hit view full page. Fundamental analysis, you go through here, overall rankings a C, but the thing is, just because they give it a C, you can sit down and you can see why it's a C. Look at all this stuff. And of course, you're probably gonna have to go to some links. They, they even have links there for you to go to. It's saving you time, um, which time is money. So you seriously can just go there, go see what's going on. This is where you start your FA, uh, FA analysis, saying that's what, fundamental analysis, um, and just go from there. So let me know your thoughts down below. Um, that's what we got for today, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. Smack the likes, smack the subscribes, and also go check out coinpix.io. But until next time, may the gains be with you.